Hi there, this is Faye from FaceWorld Media, and you're looking inside Streamlabs Talk Studio. If you want to go live with the easiest, simplest steps, we're talking about five clicks, not 50 clicks. Look no further. This is the solution for you. With Streamlabs Talk Studio, you can multi-stream, meaning going live on multiple channels all at once. We're talking about my favorite channels, including YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter. Also, custom RTMP works as well. Better yet, you can use it completely free. Their pro features are quite fantastic, but you only need to upgrade once you need those features. You can use this free version for as long as you want, and it's very, very powerful. In addition, you can invite other guests to join you as well, up to 12 people going live at the same time. That includes you as the host, by the way. So in this tutorial, I want to show you step by step what everything is and how you can go live without a co-host, making your live stream show so professional and engaging. There's so many things that are built in. You can take advantage right away without having to build anything in Canva or Photoshop. So it's all there readily available to you. You have the option to log in with your Streamlabs ID or create a new account. You can also log in from your existing platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch alongside LinkedIn and Twitter. Now I'm inside the studio, you will notice that there's a notification box and uh, make sure you allow camera and microphone access. So now it's confirmed. I just like how intuitive and easy that is. There's a quick tutorial. I learned that I need to enable my video and then click to show or hide yourself as a guest on the stream. Now you can choose ready-made theme from the design tab and that's the end of onboarding. So let me go ahead and just turn on my camera so you can see just the quality of the video. All right, now by default, as you can see, it's picking up my FaceTime camera and I can click on this button here to show on screen. It's a little bit grainy and I have a much better camera and to do that, it's actually quite easy. So all I have to do is click on the up arrow right here and confirm Number one, I want to use my Logitech Brio. So just give it a moment and see that difference, right? It makes a huge difference. And I also like to mirror my video. So as you can see, I like to move in the same direction as my live stream video. Now with a free version, when I uh, modify my video resolution, I have the choices of high resolution, 720p, which is already quite high, standard resolution, as well as low resolution. Now, if you don't go pro and stream at 1080p, well, there you go. So these are the standard versus the pro cost. It's still quite affordable, by the way. As a reminder, nearly all the features inside the studio is free to use. And whenever you run into pro features, it will be indicated using this little blue star right here and here. You can see right now it says hello, which is not exactly my name. I can click on my little window here and update my name quickly. By the way, you can probably already tell just how easy and intuitive this interface is, especially when we're stressed out, like before, during, and after we go live. The last thing you want to be doing is be searching for where the buttons are or having so many features that you typically don't use. Trust me, if you still feel slightly overwhelmed, chances are after you've done this for a couple of times, it's just going to feel like second nature to you. Let's take a look at the bottom here. First is toggle portrait mode. Also, you can use this tool to create YouTube shorts in any vertical content just by recording and it's already pre-sliced. You don't have to open up any other video tools just to do that, which I really love. Now I'm going to revert back to landscape and you can see that these options are really easy to navigate. First, we have these sound options. What I really like about this setting is number one, it's highly readable, easy to navigate, but also check it out. You have the option to uh, select echo cancellation. You can also auto adjust mic volume. This means uh, if you toggle it on, you will want to control the volume with a slider and it will appear below. So for instance, I can basically navigate it like this. And you may be wondering when you need to use that. Well, depending on how hot your mic is running on, I mean, in general, I would say it's safe to use the auto adjustment, but sometimes I notice when different guests are coming in and their mics are all, you know, people speak quietly, some loudly, and as a host, you can have additional adjustment. 
With that said, let's take a look at the video options. So as I mentioned before, you have these mirror my video options. You can select your video input. You can select the resolution. That's about it. Now, as part of the pro plan, you can also add a camera. So what it means is that you can actually plug in additional devices, whether it's another camera or perhaps it's your smartphone or your iPad, you can create another angle. Also, as part of guests here, I can easily add my guests by clicking on this link button. And all I need to do is send them this link, copy link. I can generate a new one if needed. Um, I can also change it into a permalink, you know, so it's the same every time. You notice that I can invite up to 11 guests with pro. So 12 people all together in the live stream. 12 means it includes you as the host. And that's it. You also have the email option that will automatically prompts and opens up your email client, which is really helpful as well with language already built in. Now, if you want to click on go live now, before you can go live, you actually need to add your destinations. Let's take a look at the options you got here. YouTube, Facebook profile page group. That's super helpful as well as LinkedIn, personal page, company page, Twitch, Twitter, and Trovo. I've never used that one before. So let's take a look at YouTube. All I have to do is connect my YouTube account. And then here I can select, for instance, face world YouTube, and I click on allow. And that channel is connected. So you could also select to record this live stream. This is perfect for uploading to platforms like YouTube and TikTok if you want to. And you can just keep adding destinations from there. You can also choose to go live, but without showing it to the public. So I really like this option here that you can record the live stream, but then also select either uh, keep it private or unlisted if you want to. Uh, now, this could be a good option if you're practicing how to go live for the first few times. After you're done, you can click on next and now you're able to start your stream. You need to give it a title as well as a description and there are the YouTube category. Uh, this will be saved as your previous broadcast setting. And once you're ready to go live, just click on go live. It really is that simple. So if you don't believe me, let's go ahead and go live. And I'm going to select also record this live stream, but I'm going to keep this unlisted. Next, it's taking a few seconds to connect. And now you see a countdown and my little mint background. I'm going live for the first time using Streamlabs. So guys, I hope you enjoy the show. You will notice as I'm going live right now, there is the live recording. You know exactly how many seconds, minutes, hours you're in. You're currently live. You can see the number of viewers right now. It's going to be zero because I didn't actually broadcast this live stream publicly. It's currently an unlisted video on YouTube. Now you continue to have control as you're a part of the live stream to navigate all of that. You can share a screen if you want to. You can see the option including screen, video and background audio. And what about these design elements? As I mentioned earlier, I can even change my background as I'm going live. I can add text if I want to the ticker we talked about. So as you can see, it's a really good idea to pre-plan your live stream. Think about who you're interviewing. Perhaps you're going live on your own and then just have these elements already written, prepared. And all you have to do is go to the side menu and be able to just use them. Hey guys. So as you know, you don't really need all the bells and whistles before going live. In fact, I urge you to not over plan your live stream or not to make it overly sophisticated. But in addition, at the end of this video, I do want to walk you through some of the features, which are really cool. Just to know that you don't need to learn or use all of them right from the start. Here we go. Okay. So now as I'm reloading the screen, you will notice that there are even more functionality on the right hand side. So first is chat. You're able to basically stream the chat or keep it private if you want to. And here's the schedule. I can schedule the broadcasts and design. I know some of you guys are really interested in this and you can change uh, the background. Now you don't see anything because my video literally takes up the whole thing. So what I can do is I can make myself a little bit smaller. And now when I apply the background, now you see the purpose of it. It's really cool. You can click on show more. There's some upgrade options there and you can hide it if you want to. There's also a logo maker. 
that you're able to update your own logo. You can design it right away so you don't have to use a uh, default one. If you wanna upload your own unique overlay, you'll have to upgrade to Pro as well. Otherwise, you can play with these existing options just like this. Now, next thing is called style. You're able to basically change the style of your name tag here into these four different options. You, know, you can choose the font, the colors of the font, and here are the themes. So you can preview the themes and see which one you like best. Here are all the themes you can choose from. Wow, there are many, many pages, as you can see. Next is text. So here you can add a new caption. Hi there. Click on Add. And you can decide to show right away. By default, it will hide the message until you show it like this. And you can also drag around to move it, which I really like as a functionality. You can edit or delete it at any time. Now there's also a ticker. You can add it the same way and you can show just like that. This is a ticker. So this could be some sort of announcement you can use. Um, I kind of like this. It's visually very captivating. So now you can hide it as well. Oh, by the way, you do have the option to reverse the direction or show on top if you choose to. Let me go ahead and hide it for now. Teleprompter and prompter visible to you. So. This is a message. So read auto scrolling text. You can prepare ahead of time during your live show and so to sound professional. So just like that. And this is the message that only you will see as the host, not the other folks. I would say you can use the teleprompter, especially to introduce your guests. And uh, from there, you know, it's on your screen, very prominent, and your eyes will probably move a little bit. But at the same time, you don't have to look down in the Word, you know, in the Word document, or you don't have to stare at your phone. So that is quite cool. Next is uh, videos. You're able to add a countdown, you know, to intro, like, a lot of people really like the countdown before their show starts. You can upload your own video here with a maximum of 150 megabytes. You can enable virtual background as well. And let me go ahead and accept the agreement. This is kind of cool. Enables me to kind of create this blurred background. Now you notice that I'm not currently using a green screen. That's why, you know, the edge, just like Zoom, it's a little bit blurred. If you do have a green screen, I highly recommend you kind of set it up. I'm going to link in the description below my favorite Elgato green screen. And it's just so easy to set up and put away. Now I can also change it into Oh, well, look at this. This is like a library of some sort. So I hope you enjoyed this video and there's just a lot to go through. So I highly, highly recommend, urge you to check out Streamlabs Talk Studio. Sign up for a free account and explore all the feature it has to offer.